What's going on guys? This is your boy Random Things Review here and today we have nothing other than the Girl Scout Cookies Caramel Delights. Now these are one of the favorite cookies of Girl Scouts consumers everywhere. Um, I'd certainly say this is one of my favorite cookies. Uh, I love these things. I can't get enough of them and I really want to put them into words how much I really appreciate what Girl Scout Cookies did. So let's get into the review here and I want to see how this breaks down against the other competitors. So the first thing you'll see is that the presentation, you have four dashed lines of chocolate, if you will, right here, 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 and here. You see they kind of make a divot right there in the middle of the hole there, but the lines are there and they really do a good job of accentuating the shape of the cookie. Just bringing that together really makes me seem like it's an actual circle instead of just having a caramel and coconut circle. It's almost a, it's almost, I would draw it to a Rothko painting, if you will. It's a very aggressive fashion statement and I'm personally a fan of the design on it. Now the caramel and the coconut, they sit on a nice mahogany brown right here, if you will. If you can get a nice close up of that, they kind of sit on a nice darker brown. It's darker than a normal caramel brown would be and it gives you confidence that this is actually a real caramel tree. I personally like the brown and the two browns, the striped brown of the chocolate and the mahogany brown of the caramel. I think those complement each other very nicely. So fashionably, I think this cookie is out of 10. I think this is where it needs to be. Now, uh, the circular hole in the middle, very interesting choice here. Now, I actually like where they're coming from with this because with the circular hole, it kind of makes the cookie a little lighter, you know, it makes it easier to maneuver as opposed to if that hole was filled, it'd make it a lot heavier cookie. Now, on top of that, I would maybe even try and question that maybe the Girl Scout cookies did this for calorie consumption. I mean, think about it. If there's no cookie right there, then that's less cookie that you're eating, but you feel like you're eating a full cookie. So maybe that's a Girl Scout corporation helping out with uh, the obesity epidemic in America. Now, onto the composition of the cookie itself. You'll see, like I said previously, that it has chocolate and coconut right here just mixed in on top of the caramel base where the cookie is based off of. The cookie itself is actually a vanilla cookie and all the other flavors are intertwined into it. So here's how you can see it from the top. On the bottom, you'll actually see this cookie is brought together with a nice chocolate bottom. I call it milk chocolate more than dark chocolate. Now this chocolate does a really good job of accentuating the overall effect and really just making it an easier cookie to hold. It doesn't really break apart as you can see minimal crummage if any on that. Now I actually have a little bit of a dissected cookie here. You see uh, I didn't eat this. I just split it in half so there's no uh, destroying of evidence as you can see. But we can have the vanilla base right here, and then we have the caramel on top of it, kind of a squarish base, if you will. But it can, the, the caramel that it adds to it, you, you get the caramel consistency too. It kind of adds on to the chewiness and the toughness and the durability of the cookie, which I know might scare some people, but personally, I'm a really big fan of the durability. And it doesn't do the typical caramel thing where it gets stuck in your teeth. That's not really an issue. Um, I know that's my biggest complaint with eating something sticky like caramel. So back to the taste itself. The taste, so the base, the first thing I taste when I eat it is the caramel. I'm not gonna try and eat it and talk to you with a mouthful open, but you know, I have a little bit of dignity there, but, um, the caramel has, is the base of the taste. That's what you're really going to taste first when you eat it. But the good thing is it's not overwhelming because caramel, if used too strongly, can be an overwhelming flavor. I'm glad that the Girl Scouts realize that and don't make their cookies too strong. Now, the coconuts do have a presence. This coconut base on the top, it does have a presence there. It really... Um, I will call it a pinch of coconut. It, you, it's able to tingle your taste buds a little bit, which I think is good because personally, I don't like too much coconut. But once again, I think it's good in that amount that it's able to accent it really well. And the chocolate itself is rich in taste and really brings together the cookie fully. The, even these four bars in the bottom too, uh, just that little section is enough to bring this cookie all together in terms of taste, in terms of texture, in terms of just, you know, the, the way it plays across your taste buds. The chocolate acts as an adhesive rather than just an addition, which I think is really cool. So, done with the cookie, always gotta talk about the box where the packaging came in. Here you can see the Caramel Delights packaging, and I'll slowly rotate it as I talk. But what's cool about the box is that it mentions all the cool initiatives, I mean that's just nutrition facts, but it mentions all the cool initiatives of Girl Scouts, how uh, the different badges they can get for having this cookie, um, or, or for selling this cookie and the different skills the Girl Scouts can learn. It makes me feel a lot better when I purchase 80 of these as an impulse buy. So that's really cool. And on top of that, the box is 100% recyclable. 
you know I'm a fan of that, and that's where they're going to receive well under ratings. 100% recyclable on the box. Really fan of that. Really big fan of that. And on top of that, one final thing is that the cookies are actually uh, differently colored. So this is uh, this is purple, whereas the uh, Thin Mints or other cookies would be green or yellow or blue. So it makes it easier for me when I'm running to get like 80 of these boxes because I love this cookie so much. So that's essentially all I have to talk about with the cookie itself. I'm excited to put this thing through a few tests and see what it's about. Stay tuned. As you can see here, the Caramel Delight cookie actually had more of a snapping fashion than a bending fashion when it came to the flex test. This was a big surprise for me. I thought the caramel was really going to allow it to bend and flex more than it did, but in actuality, it had more of a snap to it, and you can see the results there. The caramel still kind of holding on a little bit by the last few bits of caramel but in reality a lot of it just did snap now that's not anything to say about the structural support of this cookie i still think it's a pretty strong yet flexible cookie uh but it is more rigid than i previously thought so that's definitely not what i was expecting from this test this is why you do this stuff so you can learn more On the drop test for the cookie, you're going to see a lot of tumbling action as the cookie falls, a lot of head over heels action, and then as the cookie hits the ground, you'll see it kind of ricochet up and bounce up, and then it'll spin like a coin on the ground there as it kind of finally comes to its own resting place. A lot of kinetic energy that stays with the cookie even after the first bounce, so maybe a little bit unfortunate if someone were to ever drop the cookie. I mean, it could has a, has a tendency to bounce away or roll away, so one thing I would definitely... I would definitely tread with caution with this cookie. This is not something you want to drop and be chasing in public and stuff like that. So tread with caution when holding this cookie. Make sure you don't drop it like I did for the test. And now you can see on the screen the final ratings for the Girl Scouts Caramel Delights cookie. First off, presentation and style, 9.6. That goes for the striped chocolate on the top of the cookie the way the mahogany brown accents the dark brown of the chocolate the way the base the chocolate base brings the cookie together that's a 9.6 in my book durability i'm going to put that at an 8.6 like i said a little bit of snapping action in the flex test but that doesn't really deter me it's still a pretty durable cookie i trust it with a lot of tasks or off-roading experiments taste of the cookie 9.9 .9, phenomenal taste like i said it was the cookie with the it was the vanilla cookie with the caramel with the chocolate that all just really brought together everything is perfect proportion but you know can't give it a perfect score i'm not about that air travelability 8.1 if you were to throw this like a disc or a frisbee i like to think it would get a little bit of travel um i think air dynamics are on the side of the girl scouts caramel delights cookie i don't know if that's the primary use of it if it's made to use as a defense weapon but it could potentially be used as one with uh as like a flying disc, like ninja-esque, if you will. So that's an 8.1 for me. And finally, consumability, 9.8. It's not the richest cookie in the world, which is good. You really want to pace yourself out with cookies like this. You don't want it to be like too much and too overwhelming. So you can eat it pretty easily. That's why it's a 9.8. All that brings it together with an overall rating of 9.87, a very high rating for the Girl Scouts Caramel Delights cookie. And there you have it. Those are my final reviews for the Girl Scout Caramel Delight Cookies. Had a lot of fun eating this cookie. Phenomenal cookie. One of my favorites if you can't tell. Love for you to check out my other reviews and leave a comment if you like it or what else you want me to review. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.